Hi, welcome back all of you. Nana here and then we are into the final session of the day actually. Share the screen. We are actually delayed. <laughs> I may not be able to complete in seven weekends. No, fine. It will be going beyond. Maybe eighth week or even ninth week. It all depends upon how much you're doing. So in this place, what happens? You're getting the inventory ID as well as the org ID also you're getting it. And this query itself is fetching you both actually. So wherever you want to use, you can very well use actually. Now, what happens? We go there. First of all, we'll now save this file actually. Find it. Find it. Fusion going. And then we'll now save. It's called Fusion. Uh, OEM PDH. Where is the records folder? This is the one. My classroom records. Click on OK. So here uh, we have up to 16 now. This is the 17th pricing four actually. So right click on the rename 17. Pricing four. Close the company. Yeah. So now uh, what I'm going to do is uh, we will now do the buy one, get one free. You know, see, but how difficult it is. That guy was doing it so casually. <laughs> Bobri. I asked him, he says that you bring in any scenario, I will not write the code and then give it to you. That's what he was saying. <laughs> uh, I couldn't understand that at all. Now go there. Go there. So now buy one, get one free. So here, what happens? Go there. So here, uh, first of all, we had to write the if condition actually. Right? Let us now go to the product transformation rules. In product transformation rules, all the advanced pricing is now covered actually. Go there. We'll have to go to the product transformation rules. If I make a mistake, please uh, point out to me then and there. So that what happens? I won't be struggling on this now. Thank you. We'll now go to the search and then go to the manage product transformation rules. This is for advanced pricing. Manage product transformation rules. So you go to the manage product transformation rules in the, in the navigation. Are you able to hear me? Fine. Uh, is it clear for me? My voice is clear. Somebody can say yes to me. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So click on the manage product transformation rules. So here we are now going to write a rule for buy one, get one free. So go there. In this place, there are so many things that are coming now. So go to this place, Mike. I will now make a general rule. On the left hand side, rules, click on the general rule. Rules plus and then click on the general rule. We are going to write a general rule. So the if statement we are going to write, fine, click on drop down, fine, simple test, fine, click on it, simple test. We are going to make it now. I will not take a copy from whatever he has done now. So in the if condition, he has written it. So I have not taken a copy also here, fine. I will not take a copy of this and then put it on. It is a, in the order transformation rules dot fulfill line vo dot inventory item ID. I'm not taking a copy and go there. I will not paste down this. One. It now come fine, go there. So this has to be chosen appropriately now, fine. Inventory item ID, fine, this is the one, no? Fulfillment line VO and then inventory item ID. Zero. Fine. Yes. And then I will now paste this number. So go there. <clears throat> Take a copy of it. And then put on this. <clears throat> paste it. Fine. Go there. So there is no cell. Doesn't matter. Fine. The number is not. So order transformation rules dot fulfillment line VO dot inventory item ID is so and so. Fine. There is one. And then there is one more condition. And fine. Go there. And now you cut that. Huh? Now you cut that. Control Z. Please do. Control Z. Why? Because you co cut and paste there. So it, it is removed from here. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay. I will now save it now. I will now cut and paste it. So now what happens? The second line is what? And the, what happens? The order quantity is more than two. Fine. These are the two conditions. Now. Fine. So, I'll go there. so I will now click on what happens to go there. Again, simple test. Now. Fine. We are adding one more condition. So one more condition I'm adding, you know, the end is now getting automatically appended. I will put this one. Right? If the order transmit rules, order quantity is the one. Right? You take an exact copy of it and then go there. You can even, via magnifier, you can very well find it out. But it's all very, very difficult, actually. So fulfillment line, order quantity. The second line is the one. Right? Click on it. I will now say is more than. Right? The reward is written. Right? Same or more than. Right? Or more than, I will write into. So this condition is now done. So the if condition is what? If the item is going to be this, and then if the order quantity is going to be more, then what happens? We are going to insert a new line. Then we are going to insert a new line. That's what you're saying. So go there. So then is what we are going to do. It. So then. I think more than one, sir. 
whatever it is you put those values in mind put more than two and then doing it in mind so you put whatever want whatever you want so click on find out that so click on asset new <clears throat> so go there asset new i am not putting it like so here what happens then the first action is what you go there you change those things and then try order transformation rules dot add new order line find out us go there i have not paste it now find on it add new order line this is the one <clears throat> So add new order line is the one. And go that one. The one. <clears throat> go down and add new order line. So go there. And then what happens? Add new order line. First line. First action. No, fine. Go there. The one. And then uh, uh, in this one, what happens? Uh, we will be having what uh, yeah, what's called uh, <clears throat> the first action. Notice. So we will now have the edit icon coming up. No, fine. Edit icon is not coming. So we have to have the edit icon coming up. No, fine. Go on it. I will not select them. So once when you select the line, the edit icon will come. Up. Select the line, you will not find the edit icon coming. So edit icon is coming. And click on edit now. Then click on edit. So here the new item ID, the same ID I'm going to put now. I'm going to add the same one. So what happens? I'm so buy one, get one free. The same item I wouldn't. I'm going to take over it. Oh, not this one. No, no, this is old one. Ah, this one. So I will not take a copy of it. And then I will not paste it here also. <laughs> Paste it. And then here, what happens? I will not save this file because I am going to upload it also. Right? I will not save this file. The file is saved actually. So this one, I will not put it on the space. I am not putting it. No. Afterwards, what happens? View row IMPL. So next is what? View row IMPL. So here, what happens? You go and then select it. Now. He says that by working, 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 you will all be able to do all these things very coolly. <laughs> go there and then put it on this place. Now, fine. Click on it. So view row IMPL, I've done it. So click on OK. So now what happens? A new line will be added actually. New line will be getting added. First action. This is the first action now. And go there. So go there. No added. The second action is what? Uh, the second action is coming. What happens? We are now going to modify the order quantity actually. We are going to modify the order quantity. Go there. So we'll now add the second action actually. Go there. So I will now go to this place and click on plus. Click on the other view. So this is not We are going to add it and then we are going to modify the what happens the quantity actually. So go there. This is the second action. Go there. So here, what I will do is I will now take up this one. Go there. I will not take off this is the second line. We are going to modify the quantity. Go there. Go there. I will not paste it. So the line is now added. We are now going to modify the quantity, <clears throat> modify entity. And again, this edit icon has to come. You select it, then what about the edit icon will be coming? And click on edit. We are editing it up. Go there. So go there, click on it. So here, what happens? The attribute name is what? Ordered quantity within double quotes, actually. Fine. I will not take a copy exactly, you know. Within double quotes. Fine. I will not put on it. Ordered quantity within double quotes, actually. You know what I'm fine with that. So here, I will not say two. Fine. If you buy more than two, what happens? I will not say three quantities I'm going to give. The object is for three quantities. Whatever you want to give. Fine. Next is what? Uh, view by MPL. What happens? You go on and choose this. Euro IMPL, I know that. I'm not sure. That's it. That's it. The buy one, get one fee is ready. <laughs> Got it now, fine. Got us. So difficult, actually. Thank you. Give a save now. So click on save. You know, save it, actually. So now, no validation errors, warnings found is coming. This has to come. If there is an error, then you have to correct the error, actually. So the condition is what? If the item ID is going to be so and so, and then if the ordered quantity is more than two, then it will be inserting a new line and then what happens? It will now modify the quantity to three actually. Is it clear? Have you all understood it? Any, any doubts on this now? Likewise, we can do every e-business advanced pricing actually. Everything can be done via the product transformation rules. And he says that it is not that difficult. Initially, it will be difficult. But once when you start to understand all the ADF objects, then what happens? Once and everything is available with you, then you can do wonders on this. That's what he was saying. <laughs> Dana, how did you land up on this page? I, I missed that one. Oh, manage product transformation rules. So you go to oh, manage product transformation. I'll again show you. So once when the rule is made, you have to release it to production. And click on release. Fine. So click on release. I'm not releasing it to production. So click on the rule services cannot finish the task. Okay. The rule editor service cannot finish the task. Right. So fine. Click on save now. It doesn't have any error at all. Fine. Oh, there are errors actually. But zero is not a known token actually. 
what is this fine come on i never face such error at all order transformation definite fine conversion is not and then action expression value it is zero at eleven is not a known token and you are not asking what is this if you click on edit and click on edit euro impl is okay no fine no fine this is the item number something click on cancel the second one if you go there ordered quantity or d or the ordered quantity three what is transformation for this one got it right put in line vivo dot euro impl like in check on this no fine no fine order transformation for this put in line dot vivo put in line vivo dot vivo vivo dot impl is the one this is the second action actually come on I have to put a constant. Now, in the ordered quantity, the constant tick mark must be there now. So I will not put a tick mark on the constant. So here, what happens? I am not putting a tick mark. And click on OK now. So click on Save now. <clears throat> no done. I will not try to release it. Now, click on Release. The rule were released to production. So the tick mark was missing actually. Got it? Now, the tick mark was missing. So the rules were released to production. Now let us know. Log out and log in, and then check it. Now, got it. Now, fine. The rule is fine. Then close. Save and close. Click on save and close. The rule is released. Come back. You want it. Now log out and log in. So click on it. Sign out. So click on confirm. And then what happens? You know, signed in. Now. I did the signing. Sign out and sign in now. Sign out and then sign in. We're now signing in now. So now we'll now go on and create an order. Actually, right? click on the manage orders. I will now create an order. Right? So click on create order. So go there. It's a C zero one. Select is what C zero one zero one. So I have now given more than two quantities. So this time, what happens? I will not say make it as four. For which, what happens? The three quantities will be added actually. Let me click on it. So go to this place, and then here, what happens? You go to the supply, and then I will now put the supply point C zero one. Child. What is the general? <clears throat> then I give a future date. So click on OK. Now, once when I save it, what happens? You will now get one more line getting added for three quantities. Go so there. So click on submit now, and only upon submit this will fire. Actually, upon submit this will be firing. So once when you submit it, what happens? You now see one more line getting added because of this. Buy one get one free. Oh God! You must provide a value for the quantity ordered quantity attribute for the modify entity service. The current value is three. Fine. What is saying now? You must provide a value for the ordered quantity attribute for the modified entity service. The current value is three. Why it's saying like this? <laughs> is it? It should be two or what? No, no, no. Try to put the ordered quantity two. Ah, oh, maybe. Okay. I don't know why. So, click on it. So now what happens? It is not even getting submitted actually. I'll now cancel this thing. So we'll now go there and then have a look at it. Click on it. Set up a maintenance. Maybe two means only only two is possible. Maybe. We have to do it in a very proper manner, baby. You do all the orders, fine, brother. <clears throat> Click on it. Don't go to the search. Find manage product transformation rules. Manage personal thing. Product fine. transformation rules. You go to the manage product transformation rules. So that is why what happens? Buy one get one free. That may be the thing. Fine, brother. Where is our rule? How to see our rule actually? Search. Have I given a rule name now? Actually, I only created a general rule. Now, fine, brother. I only created a general rule. But uh, where is my rule? Rule one. I will not click on the rule one. Yeah, this is the one. Actually, yeah. Yeah. Oh, the rule one. When click on the edit, now fine. I will not change it to two. Ordered quantity. Fine. I will not. It is now one only. Fine. How come it has become one actually? Same or 
Okay. This is not my rule at all. Fine. I have not written this rule at all. So rule one is not. There are two rules. Rule, rule, rule two. two. Rule two, Nana. Yeah, rule two. Fine. Rule two is the one. So or rule or maybe one, Nana, yeah. you can inactive rule one. But it doesn't matter because there is a different rule. item number. Now item number is different. Okay. 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 So click on it and go there. So I will now make it a stool. So click on OK. But it's so sensitive actually. If I click on Save now, and then it leads it to production. Go there. So save and close. Find logout and logic. Sign out and sign. The other ones, let me what happens to go there. The one, I'll now go there. I'll now create a new sales order. Then put on the manager orders. <clears throat> create order. C01. I will not try to save and then see whether the line is getting added or not. Afterwards, we'll not submit it. C0101 and then give it add. I'll not go for three quantities now. Right? I'll not go for six quantities. So click on add one. I'll not go to this place. So go to the supply. And C01. Give us save. Upon saving, we'll not see whether anything is getting added. Go to space. So upon saving, nothing is happening. So it does not submit it. Click on submit. Submitting is booking. Again, the same error is coming. The current value is two. Fine with that. So the current value is two. You must provide a value for the order quantity attribute for the modified service. The current value is two. Uh, it is not accepting it now. Mm -hmm. What I have written there, I will not put the exact one. Now. Fine. There's only two now. Fine. Object is two. So there, what happens? I will now modify it also. Fine. This place, what happens? I will now modify it actually. Uh, same or more than two. I will now modify this. And then there, here also two. Fine with that. <laughs> Oh God. So go there, click on it now. Cancel it. So I'm going to set up a maintenance. So click on search and point. I'm going to manage product transformation. Just manage percentage. Product transformation role. It is so sensitive, Bob. <laughs> I never thought that it would be such sensitive. No? Go there. Go to the rule two now. Fine, click on it. So this itself I will not modify now. Uh, not this one. If condition I have to modify. Okay, click on it. So we have to modify the if condition. Uh, the second one is not more than same or more than two. We have modified now. Okay. So there is no modify. And then here what happens? I know modify it to more same or more than two. Fine, go there. Click on it. And then this is two only. Okay. That constant is also there. Fine. So things are not there. Click on it. Same or more than two. Okay. So in this place, what I have written now? The if condition, fine. Same or more than two only I have written there also. Okay, fine. So go to the space, fine. Click on save and then click on release to production. And release to production. So we don't have any validation errors actually. Then save and close now. If it's still not coming, I will now leave it to you. Fine. You make an R and D also. <clears throat> so tough. But he says it's all very easy now. Fine. You keep on working on it, you will understand it. Now fine. It is even more flexible than EBIS. That's what he's saying. Only thing is initially you will not writing the code will be somewhat difficult, but you will now get habituated. That's what he's saying. <laughs> When we will not get habituated to such a writing. <laughs> Probably. See, 0, 1, 0, 1. Give it app. I will not put only two. Point. Same or two. Only, the same thing. Click on it. So click on add. You go to this place. I will not supply arrows. I will not provide nothing. C 0, 1. Child. And then click on submit. No, no errors coming. Come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Oh, Bob. <laughs> you must provide a valid value for the ordered quantity attribute for the modified entity service. The current value is two. Text, cost, cost, action, action, details, details, incident, incident, message. You must provide a valid value for the ordered quantity attribute 
or the modified identity service, the current value is two. Whether we have to make it as a constant or what? The two has to be kept as a constant. I will not try that now. Fine, not. Because something might have got changed actually. And click on the setup and maintenance. Hello, are you all there? <laughs> Anybody can say yes to me. Yes, no, no. Yes, sir. <laughs> Manage my product transformation flows. I go to the managed product transformation. This is the last attempt. No? Otherwise, I will not leave it to love itself. Maybe this must have got changed because I have the code from one year back now. Wait a moment. I will not say two is also a constant. I will not enable the constant actually. In this place, what happens? I enable the constant. Nana, Nana, can you can you search that ordered quantity? That attribute is there in the torch. The torch. It is a no, uh, not this one. Not this one. Ordered quantity. The message was ordered coming on ordered quantity. quantity. Click on edit here. Yeah. On the second one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah this one. Ordered quantity. Is ordered quantity value field there now? Ordered transformation rules, man. Nothing is available actually. No, 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 no. See that that uh, uh, double double that icon. Check, check. Oh, 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 oh. One second. One quote only. No. Right? What happens? Uh, yeah. One quote only is there. Yeah. Yes. So what I will do is I will now remove one quote. Fine. There's no got double quote. I don't know how it has come. Yeah. This no, because you copy pasted system automatically put one from the side. Oh, oh, oh. Oh God, that means what? I should not put anything at all. Yes, yeah. from the door. Yeah. Fine. Don't put anything at all. And then click on OK now. And then give a save. And then come back and then see. Fine. Click on save. And then come back here and then see. Fine. System is putting one code. OK, okay. Yeah. Yeah. You should not put any code. The system is putting a code now. Fine. So go there. I will not release it for production. The system is putting a code. Got it. Fine. Save and close. Done and then we'll not what happens. Go out of it and click on it. I'm not signing out and signing. So click on confirm. And go there and then here we will not go to the place. I will not go to what manage orders and that will not create an order. So click on create order. So C01 is the one. So let us go there and then create the order. <clears throat> so go there. C0101. And then leave a tab. I will not go for two conditions. Click on edit. Click on edit. And then go to this place. And then you go to the supply. And then I will not provide the arrows. C01. Shine. Click on submit. Anything else? Save, Nana. It should come. Yeah. I will not say submit. I say Murga. That is our God, actually. <laughs> it's working, working, working. No problem till now. Fine, God, the order got submitted. Fine, Excel, no. fine. Go back to We'll not see whether the line is added. So we got a line added. The price will be for what happens? Zero. The price will be zero actually. That is all. So it's got buy one get one free, and then you can even say buy three get four. All these combinations you can go on and make an R and D on. And that guy was saying whatever you have done in Ebus, everything can be written as a code actually. <laughs> <laughs> Who will write such a code here, Bobri? You will not gradually get habituated to writing the code. That's what he's saying. So it is saying added automatically. Fine, that is also coming in this place. Because what is this now? Because of line one. So line two has got ordered automatically because of line one, actually. And really, really difficult in the field. What happens? Management expects you to write the code. How difficult it is not fine. Anybody can say it is easy or difficult. <laughs> Please put five quantity another line. We'll see. That okay, you do it now. Fine. Those like R and D and all you do it. Fine. I have now given you what happens. I opened up and then I've done it now. So what I will do is this file. Uh, this file is there now. Fine. Five one get all free. So I will now upload it into the drive now. Fine. Because we have modified something. Fine. So we have modified on this area. In this area, we made a modification. There, the SQL query has been modified now. Fine, Boris. So, SQL query has been modified. So, I will now upload this file into the drive actually. So, that whatever you can download it now. Fine, I will now go to the drive drive.google.com. So, I will now remove the existing uh, buy one get one free, and then from there, what happens? You go there. Now. Thank you for it. I will now open up my date modified last. <clears throat> 
This is the one now. If I open it up, I will now open up my Fusion Order Management documentation. Let me delete that buy one get one free. Fine, this one I will not delete it. I'm deleting it. Let me upload it from my hard drive now. Fine, file upload. Let me upload it from my hard drive. And now go back one level. Fusion Order Management documentation. Fine, buy one get one free. This is modified at 8.36 p.m. Now, fine, brothers. 8.36 p.m. It has been modified. So click on open. So that gets uploaded. It is uploaded. So please, all of you, download the latest buy one, get one free. Or do you want to keep it in the outside? Fine, let me go there and then I will keep it in the outside also. Yeah, know. you decided you'll put it in a new folder. <laughs> okay, no, new folder is not there. So buy one, get one free. I will now open it up and then keep it on this place. On the main area itself, I'm now giving it. Got it now, fine. So this is also there in the main area. So you refer this so for that SQL query actually. And like this, you can write so many product transformation rules depending upon whatever you want actually. You buy one chocolate, whatever the 25% will be given extra. All these things are available. Only thing is what you must know the ADF actually. So if you go to the other document records, you go to the other document records, what happens, you'll be having the ADF now. And technical records are available. And then the ADF recordings are also available. So these two things will now teach you a lot, but you must have the patience actually. <laughs> Go through the recordings and then learn these two things now. Now order management needs a lot of technical stuff. No? Only when you know, learn these two things, what happens? You'll be able to survive on the order management field actually. So with this, what happens? We complete our discussion on the pricing, and then we are now jumping into back to back. We are now jumping into back to back. So we are going to begin a back to back buy. We're going to begin a back to back bike. So the first activity on the back to back. Any any doubts on this now? This is again a very big thing. Fine. I'll do it properly. So I'll close it. No man. No, no leave it. So go there. Now we are going to begin our back to back buy now. Fine. So there are four things are there. Back to back buy, make transfer, and then drop ship. So we are beginning our back to back buy. So the first thing what you have to do for the back to back buy is what you go there. We will not go to the order management parameters. Fine. Go to the setup and maintenance. We are done. Already the collection, everything has been done now. Fine. The setups have been completed. We are not going to execute it now. Fine. Click on search. We go to the what? Manage. Fine. Order parameter. We are now going to interface it to purchasing actually. We go there. So click on the manage order management parameters. So here, what happens there? You have to have the procurement agent actually. Fine. P R O C U percentage and then entry now. Fine. Only, but manage the uh, percentage procure percentage fine. I'm not going to search for it. Yeah, preparer for procurement. So we have to define who is the preparer for the procurement. So for every BU, so click on plus no fine. Now go there, click on plus. I will not put for my BU. This is a must in the parameter we have to do. If you don't give it, what happens? The back to back buy will not work at all. So click on search. Now. Search, choose it, and then for we me, are preparer, sir. Yeah, we will now make ourselves as a preparer. In reality, what happens? There will be somebody, fine, because we are now in the sales area, and then purchasing will be done by somebody. But I have not made any other people know. So I'm what happens? I'm doing it. Fine. EMP eleven comma C zero one fine underscore. Give it last name comma first name. That is the way you have to give it. Click on it. So click on search now. Fine. Uh, I will now put only EMP level now, fine. And then click on search. Last name, comma, first name. This is the one. This is the one. You are going to do it. Click on it. I will now click on it. This is the one. So we are now defining the procurement. Now we are changing the parameter value. Whatever the warning is okay. So for your BU, who is going to be the preparer? So he becomes responsible for buying it, actually. Preparer of procurement is the one. So he must be a procurement agent also. He must be a procurement agent. Fine. Click on save and close. We will not see whether he is a procurement agent or not. Fine. So go to the place. He is a procurement agent. Now. Fine. Because we have created a supplier site. So since we have created a supplier site, supplier site can be created only by a procurement agent actually. Fine. You already done it actually. You now go there and then make a search. Now. Click on it. The agent name is what? EMP11, comma C01 underscore and then make a search. You will now find it. Fine. It is already there. So he is the agent also. So preparer for procurement must be a person now. In reality, it will be different. But since I am now, we are working on it, we are now making him as the same one. Now. And then go then done. Then we'll have a look at the stock now. Fine, click on it. We'll now have a look at the stock. We'll now go to the place. 
the long go inventory overview we'll have a look at this too inventory overview and go that click on it we'll now go to what manage item quantities how do you find buy one get one free anybody can comment it now <laughs> uh, this is a uh, standard order and go click on it and now put a search you know one click on search not this one now uh we are not done what is the c0130 that is the item that is for the back-to-back -back buyers because watch so we have a stock of 10 now i am going to order 17 quantities on the sales order so 10 will be shipped from my warehouse seven will be purchased from supplier actually got it 10 will be shipped from warehouse and then seven will be purchased from supplier actually any doubts oh god nobody's answering <laughs> are you all there hello yes ma'am it's clear now right yes. So 10 is on hand. So I'm going to make a sales order for 17. Now fine for the right click and then duplicate. I will not right click and then duplicate. And then here, what happens? You go there. I will not create a sales order for this item. Fine for that. Click on the manage orders. I will not create for that. And click on the create order. It is a back-to-back -back enabled item, remember. And you must have a license for this. Otherwise, what happens? It will not be possible at all. And then go to the place, fine. C0130. Fine, give a tab. I will not put. Fine, go there. Click on it. Now it will not show you in stock, actually. This tick mark will come only if an item is back to back enabled. Otherwise, what happens? It will not say if I go for it today, if I go for 30 quantities. It will not say the inventory availability is only 10. Mind you, tab. It will not say low inventory availability of 10 will also show. So, this field has got a meaning only for the back to back enabled item. Remember, not other items, it may say something that are not retrieved or something like that. It is not having any meaning at all. Only for the back to back item, what happens? Is this field is applicable. Fine. What I know, fine. So I will not go for 17 quantities. So it shows you the low inventory availability. Got enough and got us. So we have only 10. So the system will be interfacing 10 to the shipping directly. Mm -hmm. And then the remaining seven, it will now interface it to purchasing actually. Any doubts? Please ask me because what happens? We are now entering into the GOP area. And remember, GOP is a very simple license in SAS. It will now follow only what the least minimal path of fulfillment actually. That is why what happens if people used to say what happens in the sourcing rule, they will not put a multiple ranking and all. It doesn't work at all. Only with a pass license, it will work. Otherwise, with the planning license, it will work. If you have planning license or a pass license, it will work. Otherwise, what happens the way in which I have set, that only will work actually. People have made a lot of warranty in the field and then they come back, sir, that is not working. This is not working. Barbary, why you are making all the warranties here? Right? You are in a SaaS license and so you should not do it. So click on add now. 17 quantities, I'm going to add. Now, normally what happens, you go to the warehouse and then here, what happens, we go to the supply area and from which warehouse you are doing. So here, there is no need to provide the supply at all because it is a back-to-back -back enabled item. So normal orders will be scheduled, reserved, and then it will not go to awaiting shipping. Here, it is, it is a different one. So the progress of the workflow will be different for this one. The progress of the workflow will be different. So no need to provide the warehouse at all. In the general, what happens, you say when you need it. When the customer needs it, you can give it. And remember, this is again only for information purposes. It doesn't have any functionality as such. Right? So we can even ship it today itself. Right? She wants it only on 23rd, but we can very well ship it today itself. And then there is no need to provide any, any barrows at all because it is a GOP enabled item. And then all the three setups of what? ATP rules, sourcing rules, and then assignment sets have been done. Anybody can say yes to me? You understood it? We are going to the more complex area now. <clears throat> Hello? <laughs> Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, very good. I will not submit. No. Thank you. I am going to submit it. So once when I submit it, whatever the order will be submitted, and then it will be started to progress in the do now. 99962 is the one point click on okay. So it's no browsing. I go to the actions and go to system. Now what happens? You can now see the fulfillment line will not be scheduled and reserved. Fine. It will not be scheduled and reserved. It will be a different one altogether. So click on the do number. Fine. Click on the do number on the fulfillment lines. Go there. So click on refresh. Whatever the revision do, the reserved will not change. You know, reserved will not change. You know, I forgot on the name what it will not come. So after the shredding, the reserve will not go away, and then it is a, some, some supply chain availability or something like that. <laughs> so once when it is scheduled, fine, it is not scheduled. You know, see the schedule, schedule, request orchestration of supply. It is called request orchestration of supply. So click on refresh. Request orchestration of supply. Right. It has not started. Request orchestration supply. Now, what happens? It will be pushing into a SCO area. 
Right. Supply request is now or orchestrated actually. And then afterwards, what happens? It is a ship back to back. It is not a normal shipping. No. It is a ship back to back. Thank you. Operation now. It will be done. And go there tomorrow. So go there. Everything is completed. Now the ship back to back will not start now. The pass is completed. And then go there. Fine. Click on repression. We can even write a pass task. Fine. Pass. Writing a pass task is a very, very difficult one now. And I will not attach one video for this now. Fine. How to write a pass task? One girl has demonstrated. On Oracle girl has demonstrated in four minutes. You just see about how difficult it is. Fine. It's not a very easy one. Fine. It is not one of them. So now what happens? Score. It will not go to score. And then remember, we have got five, five, six roles now. Fine. In this place, if you go on and see, man, there are six roles I have given. But not everything is required. In your system, what happens? You won't have this many roles actually. If you go there. In your system, what happens? You won't have this many roles now. So go there. So in the supply supply chain area, man, I have got I have given this many roles. Everything is not required. And in your uh, dev 19, you will have only two of the supply chain roles. Man. That only you add. That's not man. Supply chain operations manager is a very important one. That is sufficient for order management actually. For order management, supply chain operations manager is sufficient, and then one more role will be available. So those things we add, and then give the red access. Right? On the dev 19, you won't find all the six actually. This is a very powerful one. This is mainly for planning actually. All these things are mainly, mainly for planning. Actually. Uh, so go there, then give it. Now, SCO is a, they call it a SCO, find supply chain uh, or, uh, orchestration. So supply chain orchestration is SCO. SCO is an adopter. So it will now sense the incoming demand, and then map it to appropriate output actually. The incoming demand may be a make, buy, or transfer. So only three such inputs will be coming to the adopter. And then once when it comes in, what happens? It will now map it to appropriate output, actually. Any doubts on this one? SCO is an adopter. It will now pick up the incoming demand and then see whether it is a make or a buy or a transfer. And then accordingly, what happens? It will now map it to an output, actually. Right? It will be mapping it to an output. So now, that, so now it has gone to avoiding shipping, actually. Now, it has now pushed the data into the interface tables of SCO. It has now, what happens, done it to the interface table. Now, we have to pull it into the base table. It has now gone to the interface tables of SCO. We have to pull it from the interface tables, the base tables. I'm telling a lot. Fine, please remember and then ask questions when you have doubt. So, the data of the sales order has now gone into the interface tables of SCO, supply chain orchestration area. Fine. In this place, what happens if you go there, you will now find what happens in this place. If you go to the supply chain execution, you will now find one icon. No, fine, go there. You will now find one icon called what? Supply orchestration. Fine. This is also known as a supply chain orchestration. This is an adopter. Fine. This is an adopter. So if you are given all the six roles, it will be coming. Even two roles also, it will come. Fine. The supply chain operations manager and one more role, if you give it, what happens? You'll be getting this icon actually. So this adopter is going to map the incoming demand to the appropriate supply actually. This is a new concept in Fusion. It is not there in EBS at all. Clear on this now, fine. Now, the data of the sales order has now landed up on the interface tables of SCO. Now, we are going to pull it to the base tables. So, we'll not go there. We'll not pull it to the base tables. And click on this, and then I'll not go to the monitor process. I'll not go to the monitor process. And then here, click on the new process. Fine. So, the concurrent name is what? Process supply. Fine. <laughs> and then give it up. The preparer for procurement must be specified. Otherwise, what happens? It will fail actually. <laughs> Process supply chain orchestration interface. So whatever has come into the interface area of SCO, it will be brought to the base tables of SCO actually. Will come okay. We are going to process supply chain orchestration. So here, there are the, on the adopter, what happens? The data must have come from very many systems actually. It must have come from inventory. It must have come from supply chain orchestration, something like that. Fine, what happens? It is now, you're going to choose the appropriate one. Fusion order orchestration. Organization, fine. If you know it, you can leave it now. Otherwise, if you know the supply request number, you can put it. Otherwise, you can leave it blank, fine. So you leave it blank, and then what happens? Everything will be pulled, actually. So if you leave it blank, all the things will be pulled from the interface table to the base table section. All the data will be pulled from the interface table to the base table. Fine, leave it blank. So choose this. This is also, you can make it blank, no problem at all. So this concurrent fine process supply chain orchestration will now pull the data, whatever has reached the SCO's interface table, and then bring it to the base tables. And click on submit. We'll submit again. So it is now submitted, fine. Brother. So we'll now see that it is now running. <coughs> so once when it is run, what happens? It will now say how many it has pulled actually. So we can even very well see once when the running is complete, we can now see how many it has pulled actually. And remember, our item is missing at this price actually. So it will now land up an error. Thank you, Mohammed. 
you know, go to the space. First of all, you know, see the output of it. It has not succeeded, fine, go there. So there is a log here, fine. Click on that log, fine, there is a log. So this is not a report. A report can be republished, whereas this only we get to see the log output. Fine, click on it now. I will not go there. So it is not coming as a log, fine, click on it. I will not take a copy of it now, fine. So take a copy of it. Control A and then Control C. Let me put it on a Word file. Control A, Control C, and then let me put it on a Word file and then have a look at it. So go up. I am not put on a Word file on that one. So now, you see, it is now invoked successfully. And then here, what happens? Uh, uh, list of interface batches processed is zero. No records found in the interface tables of the given data. Right. So nothing has come here at all. Why it is so? <clears throat> it has to show me that what happens? It has now processed one now. Otherwise, what happens? I will not make it as a null and then run it. No, fine. Go there. So go there. I will not run it as a null actually. Not okay. even fusion order management. Fine. Go there. Because that may be a different one all this. No, fine. I will not go there. Click on the schedule new process. I will not process any data at all. In this one, what happens? It may be something else also. Common work execution or something like that. So since I'm not very sure about it, I'm not keeping everything as a null actually. And then click on submit. Now fine. Click on submit. Let us not keep it as a null and then run it. No, fine, click on it. Because nothing has been processed in the previous one. It has to process uh, what happens at uh, data. It is now reached in the interface table. It is now running, running, running. So click on it. Then view the output of it. Click on it. No, go to this area. Yeah. Now, so many are coming actually. Let me take a copy of it. <coughs> I will not put on a word file. So go up, go up, go up, and see. So three min max have been processed actually. Three of the min max have been processed, but it is not showing our data at all. Probably. What happens? The process supply chain orchestration may be inbuilt, I think, probably. So the system may be running it automatically. So no need to explicitly run, actually. So the system must have run it automatically. Right? Uh, because I'm not exactly remembering it. So these are all min-max inputs which has now reached. They have been brought into the base tables. Now what happens? Our data also might have come into the base tables. There is no need to run, I think, probably. So please don't run it and then see now. Fine. So that what happens? We'll now go to the score and then make a search for it. You know, go there. You know, complete it. This is, may not be required at all on this one. So now what I do is I will not go there. I will not right click and then duplicate. Let us now go to the score area straight away. Go to this place and click on it. I will now go to the supply chain execution and then I go to the score and click on the score. So the score will now open up. We are opening up the score now. Click on it. Let us open up the score and then here. <laughs> <coughs> on the right hand side, what happens? You go there. You can see <coughs> the line has got split into two. One is we have an on and, and then one is a buy actually. <coughs> so go there. <coughs> click on it. Click on the right hand side, and then go to the manage supply lanes. Click on it, and then go to the manage supply lanes. <coughs> <laughs> and then item starts with C0101 and then make a search. So item starts with and then make a search. Thank you on it. Item starts with and then make a search. Oh, not C0. This is C0130, sorry. It is C0130. Fine. Make a search. So once when you search for it, it will now show you two lines actually. One is on and. So the on and will be interfaced into what? It is reserved. And then it's got 10 quantities actually. They've got 10 quantities. So 10 is there. And then 7 has been interfaced, has to be interfaced to purchasing it. 10 will be interfaced to shipping. And then 7 has to be interfaced to purchasing it. No, so no, error is also on the left side for the yeah, item yeah, price. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So here, yeah, before this, what happens? We'll now go the right click and then duplicate. We will now see whether it has interfaced into shipping or not. We'll now have a look at it. So click on it. We will not go to the inventory overview. We will not have a look at it whether the 10 has been interfaced to shipping or not. Fine, click on it. So go to this place, fine. Go to the shipments. And then manage shipment lines. What is the order number? Order number is what? 99962. And go to the place, fine. 99962. Go there, click on it. And then before, and then make a search. 
maybe somewhere it has to throw an error i forgot it was i did it some one year back and not remembering it actually <laughs> ready release fine brother give it what happens is even close now fine so it is not releasing it i think it is not even releasing it fine it is not going to stage it at all thank you consort no fine it is not going to stage it at all fine brother so i will not auto grade a shipment for this no fine click on i will not give a cancel no fine i will not auto grade a shipment the shipment number is now getting created So we'll now again go for the shipment number. Fine, we'll cancel now, and then for the shipment number, what happens? We'll now try to launch the pick release again. So it is not allowing you to pick also, because what happens? The seven quantities also has to come now. Fine, go to actions and go to pick release. Fine, go there. If we give a pick release, what happens? This is the concurrent number. Nine four seven is the concurrent number. We'll now have a look at the concurrent number. Fine, right click and then duplicate and then have a look at the concurrent now. Fine, <coughs> now go there. So click on it. We'll now go to the monitor process whether it is now running explicitly or not. We have to see now. If it runs explicitly, we can see it now. Uh, manage supply lines. Where is that here? Fine. Monitor process in the manage shipment lines. Fine. So here, what I was, if it is running explicitly, we can see it now. Actually. Release picture. Yeah, it is now end in the morning. So we'll now go there and see the warning now. Click on it. We'll now have a look at the warning. Fine. So release pick wave has ended in the warning now. Fine. Click on it. We'll now see what is the warning message. So click on it. You now see the warning message. Maximize it and go there. So number of shipment lines cancelled, back order released, staged, and then shipped includes lines made from the original shipment lines. This could not be the reason. This could be the for the reason for the partial allocations, multiple lots, or something like that. So number of shipment lines selected for processing is zero. Nothing has been selected because what happens? It is waiting for the seven to come. Then only what happens? It will allow you to pick actually. Got it now? Fine. What is it? So now I remember. Fine, this is the way it works actually. <laughs> so pick release pick wave has to get succeeded actually. It is not in morning. Now what happens? We'll now come back to the main area. Now fine, manage supply lines. So here we are not given the list price. Your value is a must for the pricing attribute. Fine for the first line. What happens? The value is a must structure. The value is a must structure. So if these seven quantities, what happens? These are all the seven quantities. Now fine, the seven quantities. So for these seven quantities, the value is a must. Price list is a must. So we will now go and then see whether. Anything has reached the purchasing area or not? Fine, go there. Click on it. Along with that, right click and then duplicate. We'll now have a look at whether it has been interfaced into purchasing or not. Fine, go there. We'll now go there. Click on it. We'll now go to the procurement. We'll now go to the procurement. <clears throat> we'll now go to the procurement, and then here I will now go to the purchase orders. Fine, go to the purchase orders. So in the purchase orders, we go and then see on the process requisition area. Fine, click on it now. Fine. No longer available. Oh, what is this? I don't. So process requisitions. You go to the process requisition. So if you go and then try to do the process requisition, my own. In this place, what happens? You go there and then go. If I'm buyer, you remove it and go that one and then make a search. So here, what happens? It will not reach at all. This has not been interfaced to purchasing execution or purchase execution at all. So because it is now end end error. So the score is having error actually. In this place, what happened? The score is having an error. Wrong. Fine, one is you know, having error. So we have to correct this error actually. And then once when the error is corrected, we have to resubmit it, select it, and then resubmit it. So here, if you go there and then have a look at the inside now, fine. If you click on the score number now, fine. Click on the score number. The score number will now have two lines now, fine. Or rather, four lines actually. It will be showing you four lines actually. It will be showing four lines now, fine. One, one point one, two, and then two point one. There will be four lines actually. So this line is having error actually. So purchase request will be created, then purchase order, then reservation, then put away, then fulfillment will be getting completed. SCO will be completing the fulfillment actually. The purpose of SCO is to what? There may be a buy, there may be a make or a transfer. Now this line which has come in, it needs a requisition actually. So it will be interfaced to buy actually. If you go to the buy, what happens? It will be interfaced to buy. There is no buy at all coming because what happens? It is now already having an error. So let us now go and then correct the error actually. Now go there. 
no go there right click on the duplicate we are not going to correct the error are you all understanding it fine it is too much of a subject i know <laughs> product right go there product information management let us not correct the error actually let me correct the error actually i am not going to give the list price actually normally what happens it will be master control now fine the price will be master control but uh, these guys may be doing lot of changes fine the attribute might have been changed at fine click on it let me go and then query the item fine go to the browse items and then let me query the item i am not going to query the item fine that is what it is a c0130 is the one fine let us now search for it so the list price is mandatory for the adopter the co adopter to interface it to purchase it fine click on the hyperlink on the first line fine click on the hyperlink on the first line Click on the hyperlink on the first line. Fine, go that you want it. And then here I go to the specifications. Now, fine, click on the specifications. So in the specifications, what happens? I go to the purchasing. Here I will now give the list price as fifteen in the master order. Fifteen is the list price. And I'm giving the list price. And then what happens? I will now go there and then save it. Now. Save and close. Fine, go there. So click on drop down and then save and close. And then in the child org, I will now give something. Now. Fifteen in the master. You will now see which one it is picking actually. It normally picks only from the master actually. Go there. i will now give a search again and then i will know the second line is for the child actually i'll go to the second line and go that you want go to the specifications and then i go to the purchase so go to the purchase and then here what happens i will now go to the list price what there is 15 is 25 i have now given two different values but it will not pick up only the master go the save and close now we have corrected the error now so once when the error is corrected we have to resubmit on the score actually we have to go and then resubmit on this place now can go to the place on the place and then go to the place here what happens we go there we will now resubmit it actually we can even cancel the supply of fine click on done so go there come to the main area and select the line and then resubmit it for processing it after correcting the errors on the what happens on your execution system fine inventory is an execution system so on the execution system after correcting uh, reading the errors and then correcting it you select it and then resubmit for processing the score <laughs> once when it is submitted what happens the x mark will go away <coughs> we are able to see the x mark inside also in this place what happens you are able to see the x mark inside also and both the x marks are coming and give it done now now we will not resubmit it we have corrected the error fine go that select it and then what happens you go there and then resubmit it fine click on resubmit select the line and then resubmit it select it and then click on resubmit and then what happens i make a search again fine click on search Once when you search it, the message is gone. Actually, the message is gone. Right. So it's not resubmitted. It. So the system is now done properly now. Click on search. So click on the first line, which is for seven quantities now. And second line is for ten quantities. So the first line, I'm going to click on it and go there. Click on it. Now you see no errors there. Now what happens if you go to the orchestration plan? Fine. It will not take some time actually. And then click on refresh now. Fine. It will not take some time. So it is the adopter. Score is an adopter. these 10 lines have been interfaced to shipping but it is not allowing you to pick at all it is not even allowing you to pick but it is now waiting for the seven to come now fine click on seven so once when the seven is coming then what happens it will allow you to pick so the orchestration plan if you go to the execution documents it will not show you the purchase requisition number and it's still not coming fine click on refresh so here updation is very slow in this area the sco area updation is very slow let us now go there and then look at the purchasing area itself there we will now go to the process requisition area here we will now make a search In the process requisition area, make a search. You will now find the purchase requisition would have been interfaced to this place. Now coming, coming, coming. Fine, we know it. Oh God! So everywhere it is late now. <laughs> so click on refresh now. Fine, click on refresh. Now there is no error at all. In process now coming. Fine, it is in the requisition. In the second line, you keep your custom the requisition. Fine, not in the process. Second line, you keep it. And then here, what happens? You go there and then click on the orchestration plan. So once when the requisition is created, you will not find a tick mark coming up, and then the buy fine. It is a buy recommendation actually. It's not a big or a bad thing. Go the buy. The buy recommendation will be coming. Execution document number also will be coming. Ah, it is taking a longer time now. Fine, click on refresh. Orchestration plan. The first line only will come. Second line. So, so first line is the requisition number. So, if you go to the execution documents, it has to show me the execution document. So, if there is any error on the score area, correct it and then resubmit it. Then what happens? It will be done. 
So go to the what's called process requisition area and then make a search. So for which what happens the purchasing configure requisitioning business function, configure procurement business function, and then assign business unit business function must be all be set properly that we already seen on the other day. If you don't set it, what happens? It will not be coming. And we are given the start number of the requisition is thousand, and then the purchase order number is going to start on what happens? The two thousand actually. Manage supply orders. Okay, on the operation. Take control. Oh God, it's taking such a long time because for the first time we are doing it now. Right? The school is not doing it for the first time, so it takes so much of a time. We are doing it actually. So click on refresh. So let me give a demo and then what happens? I have no log on and log in and then have a sign out and then sign in. So click on confirm. And then sign in now. So now close all the areas. Monitor all those. Manage orders. 99962. Now 99962. Now go there. Now go to the supply chain execution. Supply chain execution. And then go to the school now. So here, what happens? Uh, you will know find one track is one, one track is one actually, on and on buy. Even if you can click on the on track, fine. if you click on the hyperlink on the on track, on the buy actually, the buy, it's not showing you the supply order number. So let us now query from here. You know, go to the manage supply lines and then query for it. Item starts with C0130 and then click on search. <laughs> Click on the hyperlink on the order number. <coughs> Expand it. <coughs> oh God, it has got another error, right? <coughs> you will not see what the error. Click on it. The charge account cannot be generated. Oh God. <coughs> okay. I have to set up these accounts actually. <coughs> now it's very late. So what happens again? The accounts has to be set actually. So only when the accounts are set, then only what happens? It will be going properly. So I will not take up this topic next week. Actually, I've forgotten it actually. Right. No, 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 no. Where where is it required to be set up? It has to be set up. There are three accounts are there. One is a charge account, one is an accrual account, and then one is a variance account actually. No, you will create the uh, rules for that, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will do everything. Okay. On the purchasing area, nothing has been set actually. Fine. So that is why we land up on the problem. Oh God, I forgot it totally actually. <laughs> because I have to teach that also, but how to set it up actually. So next Saturday, this will be the first task of how to set up the accounts in purchasing. it. So only when you set up the account in purchasing, what happens, it will be getting interfaced with that. It's a very big process. So what happens, I will not teach you about how to set up the purchasing accounting next week. So just to introduce you, fine, go there, right click. And then what happens? I will not duplicate it. I will not. What happens? I will not go there. I will not. What happens? If you go there, I will not go to the purchasing area. I'm going to the purchasing area. So here, what happens? It will not show you. I will not go to the purchasing area. When they want to make a manual purchase order, go to the purchasing. It will not show it all the procurement. I have the procurement. Okay? Procurement is gone. Huh? Go to the procurement. I will not show you the error. Then I will not. What happens? I will not stop the activity. I have to go to the procurement. Fine, go to the procurement. I will not go to the purchase orders. Now, click on the purchase orders. Let me try to get a purchase order. It will not show all the three errors actually. Click on it. I will not go to the create order. I will not go on the get order. I click on the create order. We are late actually. Fine. We will not be able to complete in seven weeks. <laughs> what do find orders? Go there. Everything. Supplier is what? C01. Because everywhere we got stuck. Now. So, everywhere the delay was there actually. <laughs> Click on create now. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> there are three accounts to be set actually. So, three accounts has to be set. 
So after setting up all the accounts, I will now resubmit on the SCO area. I will not show you the error. First of all, all the three accounts, my, all three accounts are missing. I click and go down. In the bottom, what happens? I will not go to the lines and I will not add them. So instead of this item, what happens? I will not add some other item actually. Fine. C0101, I will not add it. So go the item is what? C0101. Can you give it a no. This item, I'm adding it. So I will not go for under the 10 quantities. No. Click on 10 quantities. And then here, what happens? I go to the schedule. I will not say when it is required actually. I will not go to the schedule. So I will not say I need it today itself. And then if you give a save, it will not throw all the errors. If you give a save. At this stage itself, it will not show all the errors. Right? Order followed with me. So then somebody has written a DFF actually. So go to this place. I will not give a save. It will not throw all the three errors actually. It will not save. It will not show all the three errors. The charge account is missing. The accrual account is missing. The variance account is missing actually. So on next Saturday, what happens if we are going to set up these three accounts? And then afterwards, we will now resubmit the SCO area. You can now see the charge account is missing, the variance account is missing, the accrual account is missing. So we have to set up all the three accounts. And then after setting it up, what happens in the SCO area, we will now go and then resubmit it. It will now get interface to purchasing action. Clear? Because it will not take a longer time for me, uh, more than half an hour for me to complete everything. So it is already 9.30 and so what happens? I do not want to take the packet down. So remember our number 99962 is the purchase is a sales order number. No? Fine, please remember it. So next time, the next Saturday when you come, whatever you please uh, remind me that the sales order number is 99962, which you are processing. How difficult it is now, fine. If it is understandable, can you put a green tick mark? If it is difficult, whatever you can put a go slow no? on the reaction speed. <laughs> It's really very difficult. Oh, fantastic. Rajesh, M has understood it. Fine. Great, great. What about others? No, fine. Hey, Sri Krishna, you must be understood it. Fine. I want a green tick mark from you. He's a big buy. Fantastic. Fine. Mahinder Karnam has also understood it. And what about others? You can even put a go slow. That means what? You have to watch the records and then do it. No, fine. Fantastic. Sri Krishna has put a green tick now. So please remember Rajesh, M, and then Sri Krishna, and then. Uh, Mahidar Karnam, they will all be very helpful to you in the field whenever you are getting struck like this. No, no, except that coding part. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> coding is really very, very difficult now. I don't know. That guy was coolly saying me, you can write anything, whatever you do in EBS, whatever you bring the scenario, I will not write the code and give it to you. <laughs> well, they... Youngsters are really very really... nowhere near you guys. I am just having just 1.5 years of experience. <laughs> great, great. Like that. Yeah. So, any other questions from anybody? Otherwise, we'll not call it a day now. Okay. Thank you, Nana. Fine. Bye now. And then we'll now meet at 6 p.m. on Saturday. Fine. Try to complete all the exercises as soon as possible because instances are going away very fast. And then we can't assure you about how long it will be there now. Fine. We'll definitely land up in the eighth week also. <clears throat> Seven weeks is not sufficient. Eighth week also will not be. Thank you, Namaste. Bye. Bye for now. Okay, thanks. Bye. 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 Bye, all of you. Bye, bye, bye. Bye. Thank you, Namaste. Bye. 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 Bye.